A heartfelt thanks today from jockey Malcolm Pei, who's recovering from horrific injuries suffered during a race fall in Singapore. Friends and colleagues raised $150,000 for surgery, which has allowed him to walk again. Tony Jones has the story. From his hospital bed at the Epworth Eastern, Malcolm Pei has ample time to ponder his future. But on the advice of his surgeon, it's a future that no longer includes racing. Obviously, you're not able to run a horse. No. Yeah. Pei's career came crashing down in Singapore last October. And there's a fall back in the field. Pagani's come down. Pei suffered serious spinal damage, which doctors in Singapore tried to correct by inserting a plate and screws. Soon after returning home, though, his health deteriorated. One of the screws had worked loose, and there was a, a bone graft coming out behind it. And if it had been left, well, it could have got pretty scary. On Tuesday, Richard Batar and his team spent six hours carrying out spinal reconstructive surgery. He's really lucky. Yeah, he's a very lucky man. But he's also a very tough, tough guy. He's extremely resilient. Um, he's and come through this whole procedure and the whole ordeal extremely well. There was a further complication for the 42-year-old. $150,000 needed to be raised for the operation to go ahead. The racing industry rallied. They had the money in a matter of days. His owners, other jockeys, trainers, punters, you know, everyone. And it's just, you know, it just <laughs> leaves you with an unbelievable feeling. During his apprenticeship days in the early 80s, Malcolm Pay enjoyed instant success. Just getting on a few good horses, I think. He'd planned to stay in the saddle for a few more years, but when compared to life in a wheelchair, that's a small price to pay. I'm going to be able to walk out of the hospital, so that's a pretty big plus in my book. Tony Jones, National 9 News.